Well, you're welcome once again uh, to another edition of the BD Show. This Saturday evening, we're coming to you live from Bamenda as always. Well, we're open now. You understand what I'm talking about. So, we're open now. And uh, I want to say thank you for those who have been writing to us and those who have continued to ask questions about uh, the show, Do Inquiry. Thank you so much. Just continue doing the same. Your Saturday is just about to get better because we're about to take a conversation that is uh, uh, particularly useful for our now and for our tomorrow. Okay? And it's one of those conversations I'm sure you will not want to miss. A very quick uh, regard. So my just very quickly, let me say hi to all of you following us in South Africa. We've had a huge following from there. And those of you in Israel, thank you. Continue to share and let us know that you're following us from Bamenda, Cameroon. For all your feedback on YouTube, on Facebook, on our partners, we want uh, to our partner broadcasters, we want to thank you. And just to announce that we're returning this time with some good news. We're now on radio as well. So every Saturday evening, you can follow us on local radio stations in Bamenda already. We are sealed, we sealed the deal with DEFCAM Radio and Santa Community Radio. So you can already follow us uh, now on DEFCAM Radio and on Santa Community Radio every Saturday evening. So for those of you joining us for the very first time, we thank you. Well, we, have, we all were born to a world with so many things already in it. I'm talking about the trees, water bodies, and other things, you know. But then we've elected to have an impact on these particular uh, creatures, if I may use that description, uh, we met on Earth. Today, we cut down trees. We create other things from this environment. We kill animals. We, you know, we transform water into any form that we want to. And we try as much as possible to have an impact on our immediate surrounding. This word is called the environment. And this environment now suffers a lot <laughs> because of our own activities and our desire to live better. Bamenda, the Northwest as a whole, is no exception. Today we suffer water, lack of water. We suffer shortage in palm wine supply. We're suffering lots of things because of our direct impact on our environment. And that's why today we're bringing to you an environmentalist of exceptional class. He's been into the environmental world for a long time, trying to see how his own activities can help us better nurture uh, our environment instead of destroying it, as is the case now, and how we can better take care of the things that provide us with good health. I'm talking about the plants, the animals, the water, and every other thing, even birds themselves. I'm glad to receive Carrie Jackson. He is founder and promoter of Sustainable Run for Development, that's Sorodef, if my pronunciation of that acronym is correct. Sorodef, he's been operating in Bamenda for a long time, a multiple award winner in that particular area. And of course, he's a certified environmentalist. So I think, I mean, he's just one step away from getting a terminal degree in, in education. So <laughs> I don't know whether he's gotten already into studies, but he will let us know in the course of our program. Carrie, you're welcome. The pleasure is mine, Derek. Oh, this boy. Carrie is a fine boy, right? To all the girls who are watching, but he's taken. You're taken? Sealed. Happily <laughs> sealed. <laughs> so Carrie is taken full time, and uh, we're so happy to have him here today. You came like a British man. You didn't come like a Bamenda boy. You didn't want to wear Togo? Uh, you, or you don't like it, maybe? I, you know, I've been in it. It's as if I leave it every day. I thought it wise today to be more flexible. Okay. I don't think I'm too British. <laughs> I thought of being flexible. Right. British to you means my Togo. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely normal that I am in a Togo every day. Okay. So I thought it wise to be freer today. To be freer today. <laughs> That's nice to know. You're okay yeah. when they call you Bamenda boy? No, no, I'm very, very sound with that. Mm -hmm. You know, Bamenda boy, Bamenda Highlands, Bamenda that is what we want. I am absolutely happy and elated when I'm called Bamenda boy. You don't see that as hate speech? No, 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 no. You know, as a Cameroonian and as a Bamenda boy, nothing stops that. Mm -hmm. Being a Cameroonian and being more a Bamenda boy, 
makes you more Cameroonian. Okay. And somebody will be asking why is it that Kari will feel so proud, you know, of his Bamenda? Yes, to be born on these highlands is something we should talk about. And proudly, even on an everyday basis, if you're given that chance to. You know, Bamenda tops at Togo. Have you been to China? Have you been out of Cameroon? Have you been to Ethiopia? Have you been to. You say the. I have been out, but not too far. Not though. too far. So <laughs> just next door, Nigeria, <laughs> or next door. You know, yes. just moving out of the triangle, you mm -hmm. notice that Bamenda keeps Cameroon moving, not only in terms of in terms of uh, the, the, the culture, right. the attack or regalia, not only in terms of whatever, in terms of food too. Mm -hmm. Given that Cameroon is Africa in miniature, yeah. I think Bamenda is Cameroon in miniature. Yeah, yeah. Have you noticed that? And it's unquestionable that, you know, it's undisputable. It's an indisputable fact. So being coming from Bermuda, you know, with the sha that I drink every day, yeah. with the palm wine that I drink, with a lot of natural, you know, I mean, with the, with the biodiversity that we have here, I'm proud. And being coming from Bermuda too is what led me into the environmental story that I'm about to tell now. Okay. You know, being in, in environmental, environmentalism mm -hmm. for almost uh, one and a half a decade. You know, it makes me more Bermuda and more Cameroonian. But Cameroon yeah. doesn't sound like a name from around here. From these seven seven villages that make up uh, Bermuda, per se. I mean, I'm talking about Mankon, Quen, uh, Chomba, Batu. Cameroon doesn't sound like a name exactly, from Exactly, exactly. It's not a Gemba name. Mm -hmm. And even though it's from the Dongaman, to the region of of uh, doctors yeah. and masters, you know where it's found. Wow. I think one of the oldest divisions in Cameroon, the Kambe division. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Carry Hills from Tabiken. Uh, my, my quarter in Cameroon is Tabiken. Oh. I d don't ask me why, but I'm proud <laughs> again to be from Tabiken because you already know. Yes. Yes, Carry is from there. The name was given to me by my late grandfather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jackson was given by my grandmother, who is waxing strong. I'm sure she should be in a farm now. Was she a fan of Michael Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> I asked her every now and then, but she was so... I don't know how she came about that. Yeah. But I think she learned that from Michael Jackson before giving me the name. Okay. And my last name is Bongda, mm -hmm. which means... <laughs> who is good. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to say who is fine. That's a local interpretation. Yeah. Bongda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming from Dunga Mountain too, it, it, it makes me... You know, more proud because while there, I observed I was a peasant guy from, you know, a peasant family. I lived with my grandparents who were all farmers too. Mm -hmm. And I moved to the forest every day, so I knew the environment from then. And studying to, you know, rural school in yeah. GSS that became met me you think a lot out of the box while in that small valley. Mm. It, 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 gave, it gave birth to my spirit of environmental protection because why in school we used to do what was called manual level. Mm -hmm. So very so quickly, we want to do that connect from Tabiken to Bamenda. You know people limit Bamenda to this urban city area. You come as far as Tabiken, it's a long drive now. In fact, it's longer now than before. It's very long. <laughs> it's going around the world in I hope days. you understand me. It's longer now than before. It's so, uh, that connect. So how, well, how come you feel so proud when called Bamenda man when you're from Tabike? You know, there are these captions. You can call me Bamenda boy or Abaka boy and so on. Those, uh, I mean, coming from, we, it's just one. Yeah. Like we were discussing sometime last week, we were asking a question when the Sultan, you know, was being celebrated. Yeah. Somebody was trying to relate grass field culture. And I took him out of grass field culture to even Africa. Mm -hmm. and the landscape is just one. When you move out, it's just the geography that separates yeah. uh, these people who are they are just one. You know, at times when I tell you that I'm from Tabiken, I'm from Kambe, some guys will say, no, I uh, will we'll ask you, are you not from from so mm -hmm. when I say no from Kambe <laughs> or Wimbum, mm -hmm. you say, but are, are they not one are they people, not one people coming from there? Does it mean you are different? So it's the same question coming from Bui, coming from Donga, coming from Bermuda. Mm. It's similar. You know, there are certain weddings that when you discuss, you know, you know what what really disputes this uh, three, these different tribes that mm. form the seven divisions of of the, the Bermuda Highlands, like we're saying. 
it's just uh, you know the little grammatical differences I mean the lingual yeah, frankly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which means if you're discussing all through I can try to get what you are saying well, even with Ngemba I think mm. so I speak some some of that mm -hmm. because having lived in Quen for, 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 for half a decade I'm able to speak yes I'm able to speak it's just a matter of wanting to belong how you want to belong yeah so coming from tabikan and being called a Bermuda boy or coming from Bermuda and being called a Bermuda guy doesn't yeah. dispute the fact that you feel from belonging to where others come from too okay this interconnectivity is very important and the culture let me tell you is more unique the uniqueness in these boundaries are from those of the Bermuda Highlands you'll be calling it Bermuda and so on but our art Highlands, then. yeah, because <laughs> for, for yeah, for, for technical more, reasons, more sustainable and technical. Yeah, so yeah, favorite meal? Oh, I every day I eat corn fufu and uh, vegetable and huckleberry. How, how, can you say, how can you say every day? I can eat on daily basis. Okay, I can. Okay, I can. <laughs> if I'm served every yes, day, yes, even yes. twice a day, I eat without mercy. Mm -hmm. I, I may only have to, to change the compliment, but yes. my best compliment is pepper. You know, after that. Um, a chew, you know, with yellow soup mm -hmm. makes me happier and flexible, just like the many meals. Don't ask me about water for food and eru. And the best uh, meal that I can cook, which is okra, mm. okra with some some meat, igosi, and uh, salt white curry. You drink something when you're eating all of this? Uh, you know, some good palm wine or some <laughs> cups of sugar can complement this. And that's what makes my Bermuda's you asking, you yeah, people yeah. asking more unique. Because yeah. when I turn left, I have some sweet share. When I turn right, I have some good, well brewed, uh, locally brewed white mebo. I'm sure your likeness for all those things is what pushes you into the environment to make sure that they're always available. Exactly. Let's get to right back. When we return, let's hear Carrie's journey as an environmentalist. We will also find out his take on a couple of other things, but don't forget the BD stick is on the way. Stay with us.